Stop by to interact with the community and I every Friday night at 8 o'clock for live stream Fridays. Welcome trolls. <laughs>
The thing that's in the way right now on the right, my friends, is the chimney. That's right. The chimney. I was down on my balcony. I have to wait for that moon to get back up over the house for me to be able to get it. I wish I had a nice balcony in front to be able to, at least a balcony or something, to be able to get up over the trees to get it earlier. But nevertheless, I can still get it all the time, that's for sure. I'll be out tonight, be out um, for the rest of the week. Every night, every night we can this week. I mean, listen, we should be able to get this for another week as the moon leaves. It takes a while for it to go away as the Terminator layer. Terminator line comes back, excuse my expression and accent, but yeah, that's the chimney that's blocking the moon there as it's as it's moving over, but was still able to see some of the outer limits. That's all I want to see is where, the, where everything's elevated. And now let me tell you, when that Terminator line moves across the moon during the moon phase, it shows us a lot of structures, um, both natural and not, that's for sure. We can see that as uh, the moon becomes a banana, if you want, as that black line comes in and the Terminator line curbs, starts getting a curve. It's showing us a very, very big um, setup of structures on the surface. Well, I had an incredible, incredible two past two days. This is an object that was a fireball, my friends, in the sky over my house. It stopped. It's the only footage I got of it because I, this is slowed down. I actually only got it for like 10, 15 seconds. But it was going across the sky and it came to a sudden stop. That doesn't happen. I know for a fact, whatever it may be, it's something man-made or alien for sure because it stopped over the house. So what I'm trying to get, what point I'm trying to get out is that when things go across the sky like that at a fast enough pace like this was doing, very high up, high with the satellites, guys, and it stopped, why does it? I know helicopters can stop, right? But all planes have lights on them. And when you're looking with infrared, especially infrared, you can see the lights on the plane. And even with a camera on the telescope like this, you'd obviously see the lights of a plane. So whatever it may be, it's parked over the house and it was in a sudden stop. It came to a sudden stop and then it seemed to either vanish or disappear or uh, the light went out and I was unable to continue seeing it. Only a few things here. I was outside doing infrared, uh, but this I was facing more the north side, which I very rarely do. But look what we see uh, flailing around up there. Not very big, full screen guys, dark, dark rooms, wash your screens. Because if not, my work is really hard to see if you don't have a, a very, very clean screen. So probably a sliver, right? So these can be between um, Earth and obviously the moon, you know, they're just flying by, but the, you know, wow, really not very fast this one, but it could be very, very far away. It's always the hardest thing to do is that, trying to find out where these objects are. So just one more object here. Just wanted to add these with uh, inside of the video because it's capture. Every, everything I capture, guys, I'm going to share them with you. It takes a couple of moments to see them, and I'm sure some of you appreciate them. But again, a bit different from my usual captures, right? We got this object here. Um, I don't know, asteroid or not. So look how bright the sky was. And there's my little binge. So if you guys want, this is what I'm looking at, guys. I'm looking on the camera to see what I'm recording. So there's nothing to see really outside until I bring it in and I add it to the software to be able to see it in full screen and on my computer. Look at the light there in the back left. I don't think I've ever showed you guys that, but that light is about 250 feet away from my house, maybe maximum 300 feet away. A very special thank you to Bill Bill Solomon, Harold Hughes, thanks a lot, brother, and Suzanne Paul. I love you, Suzanne. Thanks, guys, for being here. Again, Bob Down, Russ Baker, Inger Lee Strom, Mike Prokopow, Prokopow, sorry, and Pete Simerson. Thanks a lot, guys, for being a part of this community.